Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to show you how to create an input stepper in Axure RP. It is something uh, really useful if you are prototyping for websites or for mobile phones. Why I want to show you how to do it? Because actually uh, Axure gives us the possibility to use the input fields as a number field. It actually gives us the possibility by default with the browser arrows to uh, use it as an input stepper but but could be useful sometimes to do it your own way right with your uh, design for particular cases so this is why i want to show you how to do it and if you're interested as usual subscribe to the channel activate the bell put a like a comment and that said let's get started And here we are inside Axure. So, as you can see on screen, I already prepared the UI, meaning the user interface of this component, that is the stepper, right? So, how it works? Actually, it's uh, quite simple. So, what we have here is uh, this input field, that is actually just an input field, right? I dragged and dropped uh, on the canvas the input field and the styled. And here we have two buttons, right? What we want to achieve with this, um, with this uh, tutorial is just to uh, actually add plus one and minus one to the number that is inside the input fields, right? So, and let's do it. So I select the plus, right? And I want to on click, I want to add plus one, right, for example, but you can put whatever, right? right? So uh, let's do it. So new interaction on click or tap. What I want to do is set text of what? Of our input field equal to. Here we have to take the FX and what is our target here? Our target is the input field, right? So I want to take the target. So let's uh, click on insert variable or function. Let's select the target. And let's say I want that the target text, right, should be plus one. So let's do it. Dot text plus one, right? And so I'm going to add one to whatever number is inside. And let's do the same actually for the minus, right? So let's select the minus and I paste it here. So on click or tap, set text of input to target dot text minus one, right? Minus one. Okay, now let's see in preview how it looks like. Let's see. Oh, Oops. So basically what we have on screen here, as you can see, it's our uh, input stepper. And if I click plus, as you can see, we add plus one, plus one, plus one. And if we click on minus, we have minus, 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 minus. So if we want to stop it, for example, at zero, for example, without going on uh, negative numbers, this is quite simple to do. So let's close it and uh, let's add a new condition. But now let's add the condition on the input field. And what I want to say is if the value inside this input field is equal to zero, then you have to disable my minus so that you, you cannot click it anymore, right? So let's do it new interaction and I want that on text changed so when the text change inside this input fields the, I want to disable the minus right I want to disable it and what is the condition as we say the condition is when the text on widget 
this widget, because I'm selecting the input fields, is equal to zero. Okay. Or, so match any in this case, or is equal to nothing. Okay. Then you have to disable the minus, right? And this is on text change. But I want to do it also when uh, this loads. In this case, we just copy this interaction and we paste it in the action loaded. So we select the loaded here under the text fields and we paste it. And actually, actually that's it. But let, let's see how it looks like. So, okay. So I load it. And as you can see here, we I have the uh, disabled state of my button. So as you can see, if I click on the minus, I cannot uh, do anything. But with a plus, I can add plus, 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 plus. So as we can see here, we have a mistake. Why? Because when I click on plus, okay, obviously the minus should work, right? Okay. And what we have to do is just to going back to action on text change we say we add a new case saying if true else if true so what let's let's put the loaded uh, on top and else if true then enable where is where is enable disable enable the minus enable right and and should should be okay Let's see it. Okay, now we don't have anything inside the input field, so it's uh, it's correct that the minus is disabled. But if I click plus, you see the minus now is enabled. So I add add add, and that's it. If I go back to zero, then it's disabled again, and I cannot go in negative numbers. And again, if it's empty, same thing. So the minus it's disabled and also this video is finished i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new from me as usual what i ask you is to subscribe to the channel activate the bell put a like a comment and see you in the next video bye